Welcome back. All right, so some news coming in that uh, some people might be interested in. Uh, it's been out there, and it turns out that the speculation on how much Austin Matthews' next contract was going to be worth and for how long, it's been pretty much accurate. So it's a four-year deal. I am a fan of four-year deals. I know everybody's so conditioned now to eight-year contracts that a four-year contract makes it look like a player doesn't really want to be there, which I think is insane. If I don't want to be someplace... I'm not signing on for four more years. So there's one more year left in Matthew's contract at $11.64 million. At least that's the cap hit. The cap hit will rise with the next contract to $13.25 million. Do not be surprised that these contracts that are coming in for players are going to be a lot more than what they would have been 5, 10 years ago because the cap's going to be going up next summer. So Matthews gets his money. The question now, if you're a Leafs fan, is when does Nylander get signed? Well, the good news with Nylander is he seems to be willing to, to play the game here and to stick around. Uh, he has come out and said that he would like to have a long-term extension with the Toronto Maple Leafs, which, again, a four-year deal to me is, is long-term. Uh, but by today's standards, that's no longer a long-term contract. Now it has to be at least six for people to say it's a long-term deal. So if they can lock down Nylander uh, after locking down Matthews, you're looking at a Toronto Maple Leafs team that, um, yeah, that core four might be together for quite some time yet. And we'll see how that goes, right? Uh, yeah, a lot of pressure on the Toronto Maple Leafs coming into this season, which is not a surprise to anybody. Matthews agreeing to sign on for four more years. So all of that talk, all of the discussion about Matthews, he's going to want to go to Arizona He's going to want to go to the States. He's not going to want to play in Toronto. Nobody wants to stay in Toronto. Uh, it all ends up being kind of white noise in the end, as Matthews has signed on for four more years with the Toronto Maple Leafs. And, uh, yeah, again, their, their success will be measured by the playoffs, but Matthews putting pen to paper means they're going to stay in contention for a while. Uh, Lafreniere has gotten off to a rough start at the National Hockey League level. He gets his contract with the New York Rangers today. A uh, two-year extension worth $2.325 million per year. Now, if he starts getting power play time, if they start giving him real minutes, that contract could be a huge bargain as soon as this Christmas. Uh, Lafreniere has a lot of talent. That kid line's a lot of fun to watch, which is, of course, Lafreniere with Heedle as well as with Kako. But they don't get the ice time that the top guys get. Maybe this is the year where Lafreniere starts to get some of that ice time and starts getting onto the special teams play as well. I like Lafreniere's game a lot. I think he's a very talented player. I understand there's a lot of people that regard him as a bust. I don't use that terminology for a player who's playing regularly in the National Hockey League. Bust to me is regarded for play for players that just don't make it. Guys who didn't end up making it to the NHL, maybe played a few games, just doesn't work out. I would use like Pavel Brendel as an example of that. But when a guy's playing regularly in the NHL, sure, maybe they don't reach the level expected, but the word bust. And I don't think it should be used on anybody under the age of 22 either. But anyways, Lafreniere signs for two more years. We'll see how things go for him and the New York Rangers. Also, the Tampa Bay Lightning announcing that Darren Radish has signed a two-year extension worth $975,000 per season. That kicks in next summer. So, yeah, Radish uh, being signed for a couple more years. Of course, Taylor Radish being traded off to Chicago. I, I, I was always curious after Taylor Radish got traded. So, will Darren Radish end up in Chicago too? Nope. Uh, he's re-signed with the Tampa Bay Lightning. And we'll see how things go there. But circling back to the top of the board, Austin Matthews with a huge contract extension. Let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.